All right, so we're gonna go ahead and perform the air brake test. First thing we need to do is perform a safe start, so we're gonna ensure that our safety belt is on and it's properly latched. And because this is an automatic transmission, we wanna make sure that the vehicle is in neutral. The parking brake is applied, so that means it's pulled out. We're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition to the on accessory position and let all of our gauges cycle through before attempting to start. All right, went ahead and started the vehicle. Now what we're doing is we're watching their air gauges. So this is our first step to the air brake test. We're gonna watch our gauges and we're gonna allow them to fully fill up to the governor cutoff range of about 120 to 140 PSI. Once they have reached that appropriate range and they've stopped building up air pressure, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn the vehicle off Turn the vehicle back to the accessory position. Let it cycle through. We're going to release the parking brake. And we're going to apply the service brake. We're going to fully push it down. And we're going to hold it for one minute. Now because we're in a class B vehicle, we're watching to make sure our air pressure does not drop more than 3 PSI during that one minute time frame. So we're gonna go ahead and continue to hold it for one minute. We're about 20 seconds in. And during this time, we're gonna to continue to watch both our primary and our secondary air tanks to ensure that they do not lose any more PSI than three during this one minute period. Got about 10 seconds left. All right, now that's done. We're gonna go ahead and fan the brakes. And what we're doing is we're watching our air tanks deplete. And when it gets to about 60 PSI, there should be a warning buzzer, should be audible, and a red light will come on to tell us that our air pressure is getting low. And so there you see our red light came on and you hear that audible sound. Now we're gonna to continue to apply air pressure and our parking brake plunger will automatically engage telling us that the emergency system is working and it will pop out at around 40 PSI. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue fanning the service brakes until our air pressure reaches about 40 PSI and our plunger should automatically release and there you go right around 40 psi and our parking brake plunger release so there's your three steps step one is to allow your tanks to fully fill up to around 120 to 140 psi until they reach governor shut off at that point you're going to turn off the ignition you're going to place the vehicle in the accessory position allowing it to function through and then you're going to release the parking brake and hold in that service brake for one minute watching to make sure the tanks do not lose more than three psi during that one minute once that time is up your step two is to begin fanning the service brake until your tanks get down to around 60 psi at that time an audible sound will come on and red lights will start flashing telling you that your air is getting low Step three is to begin fanning your service brake until it gets down to around 40 PSI. And at that time, your parking brake plunger is going to automatically engage and that's your emergency air brake system. We wanna make sure that all three of those function properly to ensure our vehicle is safe to operate. Thank you.